Let's take a look at problem 5. Suppose that s is a set of integers with the following properties. For all x, if x is an s, then negative x is also an s. For all x, if x is an s, then 2x is also an s. Suppose that the numbers 10, 11, and 12 are not in s, what can you say about s? Tell us as much as you can. So, we know that 10, 11, and 12 are not in s. We can actually take the contrapositive of the properties 1 and 2 because we know from the notes that the contrapositive is equivalent to the original statement. So, the contrapositive of 1 is if negative x is not in s, then x is not in s. Contrapositive of 2 is if 2x is not in s, then x is not in s. This is actually the more useful of the two because, for example, we know 10 is not in s, therefore, using the contrapositive of property number 2, the one that I just wrote here, we know that 5 is not in s. Similarly, we know that since 12 is not in s, then 6 is not in s, which further implies that 3 is not in s. Now, some of you might be tempted to say the converse of these things, such as, for example, if x is not in s, then 2x is not in s. This is the converse of 2. This would then tell us that, for example, 24 is not in s, 48 is not in s, etc. However, we know that the converse is not logically equivalent to the original uh, implication. Therefore, we can't necessarily say this. So this doesn't work. All we know about the set S is that the following numbers are not in S. 3, 5, 6, 10, 11, and 12. These numbers are not in S. We don't know anything beyond this. Other numbers, like 4, could either be in S or not in S, but these properties say nothing about 4, given the information that we know. So for all other elements, we actually don't know anything. We just know that 3, 5, 6, 10, 11, and 12 are not in S.